When students go on to enter the engineering workforce, it can be hard to decide what the best path forward is. And today we're speaking with JT Murthy, who has an illustrious career in academia. She's one of the speakers at this year's meeting. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention, uh, she is the president of Oregon State University and we're in uh, the Beaver State. So it must be pretty nice to have this year's meeting here in the Northwest. How wonderful to have it here. I mean, it's such an honor to be hosting this amazing group of people here in Portland. Uh, you know, uh, Oregon is a tech state with Intel and with so many other semiconductor folks here. And so it's just a wonderful place to be. And you guys have brought good weather with you. So thank you <laughs> exactly. for that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I always say summers in the Northwest are the best in the world, but that's unbiased. Uh, I want to talk, how has engineering education changed throughout your career? Has it changed for the better in your opinion? Oh, I think it's absolutely changed for the better. There's no question about it. I mean, you know, people talk about whether the uh, you know, world is progressing or not. I would say that engineering is the one area where you can be truly hopeful about doing good in the world. I mean, you can't be problem solvers without, you know, being optimistic about the world and doing good in the world. I think uh, the coming of computer simulation has made industry so much more efficient. We, can, you know, you don't have to build experiments to actually go figure out what an optimal design should be. That's one big plus. So the coming of AI is going to have very similar consequences. I think we've gotten so much more inclusive about who comes to engineering. You know, I was one of two women in my undergraduate class, mm. right? That's it. All, uh, you know, all areas combined, all engineering combined. Wow. There were 10 of us in the entire undergraduate program. You don't see that anymore. You know, I mean, we, you know, I wish our numbers were better, but they're inching up. Uh, you know, we see so many diverse people, so many women, so many folks from underrepresented communities. I think we're much more open for being there. The other way that engineering has changed is engineering has become much more transdisciplinary. Because we understand that mechanical engineers can't just work in a little silo by themselves. They've got to work with the artists. They've got to work with the social sciences. They've got to work with public policy people. They've got to work with other engineers, scientists. That's a huge change, a big change in mindset. Now, uh, prior to going to OSU, you were the Dean of the School of Engineering at UCLA. Yeah. So walk us through that transition of moving from faculty to administration. Oh boy, I <laughs> mean, what a change, what a change, right? You know, each role has its, imp its importance. So this is not to say one is more important than the other. I really don't think one is more important than the other. It's just taking on a different viewpoint and a different mindset. As a faculty member, I was really focused on teaching and research, right? I, you know, I wanted to do big work. I wanted to make a big change in the world. Uh, and so I was deep and narrow rather than broad. And I was really focused on my students and getting them to be good. Uh, a dean role is broader. Uh, you got to think about engineering more broadly rather than just mechanical engineering or nanoscale heat transfer, whatever it is you're doing. Uh, and you have to think about uh, affordability for students, access for students, the success of faculty. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, physical infrastructure. So your viewpoint becomes broader and broader and broader, but you become less deep as you go along. <laughs> right? yeah. Well, President Murthy, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Enjoy the rest of the meeting, and may I say, go Beavers. Yeah, go Beavers. You can say that, absolutely. <laughs> and I can say that. Go Beavers. <laughs> yeah.